Hello and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Now in this episode, we're going to be focusing on the Centec 2B mill. And hopefully we'll get to do our first cut with it. <laughs> Now we don't know really much about this machine, uh, we looked online and we couldn't find any manuals and we couldn't really find any other information either. So everything we're about to say is pretty much self-taught and what we can figure out from it. So anything we get wrong, uh, comments welcome of critique and suggestions about what certain bits of this are possibly. So let's jump into the controls from what we can work out. Now the knob down here, to start with, that's the up and down for the mill bed. And then this one here is for going in and out, as you can see. Then this uh, big one here is for the side to side of the mill bed however it has quite big movements so there is also this other wheel for the side to side but you can see while i can turn this this one doesn't do anything so what we've worked out is to engage the small one you push this up like that so that clicks into place and then you can't move this big knob but when you try this, it moves it, as you can see. And then to go back to the bigger one, you just push that to the side, like that, and that drops down. Now, from what we can work out on the gearboxes of this, uh, there's one gearbox for the bed, and that moves in one direction from what we can work out, which is to your right. So this way, and gearboxes on here, there is high and low range on this side, and then on the other side, there are three gears for high and low range, and there's the chart for it. Now, unlike our Cincinnati mill, so actually adjustments on the head here, on the, on the Centec. Now the first of which is this knob here, which there's quite a fine adjustment of, I believe this is called the quill. You can see that's very fine adjustment. Now what I found is that if you loosen this, what, this uh, lever off a bit, like that, this no longer does anything. And you can use this lever up here for a lot less fine movements of the quill. Which these adjustments would come in very handy for something like drilling, if you were to use a mill instead of something like a pillar drill. Um, now as you can see this goes back up afterwards, it doesn't stay like uh, this knob. So if you put this down to, say I wanted the quill to be about that height, I could then tighten this up, I can let go of that, Please ignore the plane noises in the background. Uh, you can let go of that and that will stay where you want. And of course, you can then loosen that off. Goes back up there, tighten that back up and you're back to this wheel now. Now, this Centec mill is quite unusual compared to some other Centecs because I believe some other Centec mills uh, use more taper tooling Whereas this one uses int 30, which if you're not common with uh, mills, the, this whole taper thing is this part of the piece of tooling. And this goes in the head there. Uh, and there's a draw bar up here that you screw it into if it's int 30 like this. And that holds it in there. Now our big Cincinnati mill uh, uses int 40. 
and you can see the size difference there. And we were looking through our tooling and fortunately we found this Clarkson Auto Lock uh, collet chuck here uh, that we're going to be using today. Now in preparation for doing our first cut with the mill, the other day we rewired the power feed cable and put on some new Armaflex SY cable to replace the old rubber cable that had completely perished. And we've also checked the gearbox oil level, which that's all good. And we checked all of the oil points, uh, like that one and that one. Made sure they're all topped up. As you can see, we've also bolted on an old mill vise, which we've had for a number of years, but hasn't seen much use since we have bigger ones that fit better on the Cincinnati mill. So as you can see, I've lubricated it heavily to make sure that it's all in working condition for the first cut with the Centec. Now we've put a piece of scrap aluminium in the vise and we've got a three quarter end mill cutter uh, in there. So we are pretty much ready to start cutting. We're gonna go quite slowly because we're aware this is a smaller and very different machine to our big Cincinnati mill. So let's give it a go. There we go, that went quite well. We've got the finished product here then. It's a nice clean cut and the mill did well. It was a bit slower than the other mill would have been but it's a smaller machine so it's probably to be expected. Uh, and it'll be good to get some more experience on the mill some other time. But that's the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, comments welcome. And I'll see you in the next episode of Workshop Wednesday. Watch out for it. Goodbye.